So what we have here is um, the water mixing in action. And um, what I am showing here is that when I move the set point, the water mixing follows that set point pretty darn accurately. <coughs> and uh, there's some fairly fancy processing going on where we're actually predicting output temperatures ahead of time and uh, predicting what's going to go on so that our con control mm -hmm. loops can run a lot faster. And then uh, the other graphs are showing some instantaneous pressure readings, um, drives going to various pumps and, and heaters, and over here we have the flow rates at, um, in various parts of the circuit. So what you've got on that top left is essentially temperature profiling. Yes. You're setting the temperature that you want and it's changing over the course of the shot. How many degrees of change are you doing there? Um, that is a 10 degrees C jump. Okay. And I'm just going from 55 to 65 degrees C. How many seconds does it take to go from one to the other? Oh, um, it should be roughly five seconds is what I'm seeing usually. Yes, five so seconds to go 10 degrees. Um, okay. No, so it's actually it's actually much quicker than that where I, uh, over here. So it's going, it's, it's five seconds at the one set point and then five seconds at the other set point and then five seconds at the I first see. set point. And it's getting to the set point in about two seconds, two and a half seconds, okay. and then staying there. But you can see it's a smooth ramp to the, the actual correct temperature, and then it's a smooth ramp down. There's no overshooting. Um, so it's going a 10 degree change in two seconds? Yes. Wow. Um, and it's doing it with pretty good accuracy. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and so I just did it a few times there. This, is, this isn't um, like in the middle of a shot or anything. This is just a test that I do to check that my um, control algorithms are doing the right thing at the right time. Nice. Thanks. Sure.